Hi, I'm Mike with Digital Union, and I'm here to introduce you to RT1, the future of media workflow. RT1 is a collaborative software with numerous features designed to help facilitate the process of media workflow. The whole idea behind RT1 is that you can simultaneously work on a media file with others in real time. Up to 20 people across the nation or the world can view and collaborate the same media file at the same time within a video conference. RT1 is easily suited for the film industry, medical fields of all type, and also education. It's user friendly and best of all, it makes media workflow more efficient. Once the program is easily installed onto your laptop or desktop, all you need is an internet connection and you're good to go. Let's take a look. Once logged onto the server, we can see everyone else logged onto the same server as well. Now, for example, I'm a costume designer in New York and I need to get an approval for a certain wardrobe from the director in LA and a producer in San Francisco. So I see that Pete and Warner are online here. I double click Pete's name to start a call. I now have a choice. I can either just have a video conference, audio conference, file sharing, or complete, which incorporates everything. I click on complete and it calls him and we are now on a call. Hey Pete. Hey Mike. I can either share media, chat, share screen, or whiteboard, all of which we'll touch on. Under participants, we see who's in the call. To the left, we can see the streaming images of everyone in the call. Right now, I'm the moderator of the call, so I can control who's in charge of the video. Right now, everyone has control, but I have the option to spotlight or hand off to anyone in the call. If I choose to spotlight, only my video is seen by the group. If I hand off, I have the option to hand off video to anyone else in the group. I need to send Pete a JPEG of the wardrobe I need approved. I click over to shared media and we're good to go. Now the beauty of this is that anything I do to my screen within the program, the same thing happens to Pete's screen. Pete, what do you think? Let's try a different tie. I can mark up the picture as well. I can also drag and zoom the picture. Finally, I can leave a sticky note on the JPEG for Pete. Now let's take a look at Pete's screen for this next portion. Now Pete, go ahead and drag that QuickTime file into the window. I accept the file, and after downloading it, we both can review yesterday's footage, for example. As we review the footage, I can stop it at any point and leave a note on screen. I'll stop it at this frame and leave a note. You'll notice that the column to the left of the video tracks all the frames that have notes on them. At this point, we'll switch back to my screen. I'd like to get the opinion of Paul in LA, so I simply add him to the call. He accepts, and now he's involved within the conference. Hello, Paul. Hello, Mike. Paul circles something he doesn't like already. Can we fix this shadow? Pete and I again see this. Back to the wardrobe example. To finish up, Pete and Paul don't agree on this piece of wardrobe. So Pete is gonna make changes for Paul and I using the share screen tool. To use share screen, Pete opens up his Photoshop program with the JPEG of the wardrobe he wants to make the changes. As he makes changes to the wardrobe, we're able to watch live without Pete having to output the file of each one of the changes. Oh, I like that one. That's much better. Moving on to whiteboard, at a glance, we can see it has different objects that can be used to make flowcharts and other designs that might be needed. Here's another good example using RT1. Let's say a director has a second unit film crew out on location, and they're about to shoot a very expensive, time-consuming shot. Everything has to be perfect. By using RT1, the director can call the shots live from anywhere in the world. That's RT1 for you.
an easy to use, groundbreaking software with unlimited applications designed with you in mind.